say. Speak the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides, they haven't heard the intro yet. I know. I don't know what intro you put in today. Do you? The one you don't like. Because it is politics. But it's Friday night. It's always, it's always Friday night. Welcome to the Coffee Club, broadcasting live from New York with your host, Felix, and co-host, Dr. Mark. So let's have a cup of coffee and enjoy the show. Okay. Say something, Mark. Uh, there is no heaven, there is no hell, or uh, he's off too. No, but to say with a little more enthusiasm Okay, than that. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, Coffee Club. Uh, I am Dr. Mark, and uh, my cohort over here is uh, Felix, or the Rebellious Rev. All right. Uh, there is no, no heaven. heaven. There, there is, is no, no hell. hell. There's there only, only this, this world. world. And it's, and it's dark, bright, reflections. dark reflections. And we do not, we do not know, know in which, which of the of two, two worlds, worlds we are. are. Well, you know, for, the problem with this computer, it, it does what it wants when it I wants know, to do I know. For it. a while there, we thought we were in a twilight zone, or at least in yeah. the outer limits. It showed playing, but it wasn't on. Then it decided to go on. Uh, something uh, haunting about this whole thing, you know? But uh, welcome to another Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Is Lots- it Friday night? Lots to discuss. Well, if you want to go to work tomorrow, go ahead. But uh, lots mm. to discuss. Uh, it's been a busy week for both of our uh, campaigners. Uh, seems like Hillary's in a little bit more hot water with uh, Congress and that uh, they're calling her out on her lies. Um, uh, Donald. They're calling out her butt. The lies about her lies about her lies. I think I think it's the like third stage lies now. Well, probably. Uh, and I'm a supporter of hers, by the way. And uh, the Donald, uh, once again, another change. As I said in my blurb, he changes campaign uh, organizers the way uh, you and I change socks. Uh, Paul Manafort is out because he was trying to mold Trump into something that, let's face it, folks, he just ain't. No, okay. Paul Manafort was out because of all the controversy about well, him and Russia. Well, why don't you wait? That was, that was part of it, all right? Yeah. Part of it was, I mean, the family liked him, okay? They were going to keep Manafort as I know, a if show. it wasn't for the business about Ukraine yeah. and Russia, and he didn't disclose some of that 13, mi- 13 with an M, million dollars that he got. For uh, whatever he did over in Sounds like Hillary. Huh? Sounds like the foundation in Hillary. No, I don't know. But she's doing everybody a favor. You know, if she's elected president, she's not taking any more uh, contributions. But Unfortunately, it's too little too late, you know. She also signed papers with Obama that she wasn't going to do it. She signed with Obama an understanding that she will not mix business with pleasure. Or whatever you want to call it. Well, look, the bottom line is that... Uh, Hillary's crooked Hillary! Um, a lot of people are saying that it was too little too late. She should have followed through with this before. And uh, like we've been saying, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, these are not two stellar candidates here. There are flaws in all of, in both of them. Uh... What, well, well, I'll tell you one thing about what Trump. Do you know what Trump said? He says, "You may not like me, but I'm going to be truthful." Yeah, so he says. I could tell you that I'm truthful. Oh, All right. Man. Bottom line is. Did you hear what he said to the blacks? Yeah, I know that. Uh, but in the time his first four years are over with, he's going to get 95 percent of their support. No, he says, "What the hell? The Democrats aren't doing do anything." Oh, I know. He really they talk about rubbing their face in the nose, their nose and face in the dirt. He mm-hmm. says, 59 percent of your people are unemployed." He says, "Your youth are getting a second-class education." He said, uh, "You've been dumped on and lied to." He says, "What do you got to lose? Try me." Yeah. It's beginning to make sense to even to Dr. Mark. No. A little bit. No. No? No way. 
Why? I don't because I don't trust him. That's why. Oh, do you trust Hillary? More than him. Why? He hasn't done. She any... also has the experience. Experience of lying and cheating and how to get money out of the government. You know, say whatever you want. Her resume and everything that she's done, she ha has more training for the role than anybody. Now, how do you like the newest now? Uh, Obama says, yes, we did pay the 400,000 uh, pounds dollars to pay to $400 million to, uh, for the hostages to be released. But it wasn't it wasn't a ransom. It was pivot. It, we, we no, he said pivot. this is money that, that we've owed them for 37 years. That's what he claimed. But the money wasn't put on the jet until he knew that the hostages were on their way home. No, I just heard that today. And I heard that they they the Iranians didn't release them till they knew that the uh, that the guys that the plane did, took off. Remember. I don't care what you heard. Right. I just heard today from a State Department person before I came over here. Yeah. All right. He said the money was sitting on those uh, skids. Skids, waiting to be put on the jets to be flown to Iran or wherever they're going to be flown to. Iran, yeah. Uh, and they were waiting for the okay that the hostages were on the plane and... Yeah, there were hostages were on the plane, but they were, the plane never took off till their plane landed. Okay, whatever. It's a big difference. I mean, listen, when you think the Iranian will let them take off and they take You the say tomato, and, I wait, say wait, wait, tomato. Wait, wait, no, no there's no waiting. Now listen to what I'm saying. You're always going to take, the op you're always gonna take the opposite, so what's pay the difference? Pay attention for a second. Listen. Why don't you? I did pay attention to you. Now pay attention to me for a second. Why would the Iranians... Let them go unless they see the money in their hands. The plane could take off, turn around, and land again once they release the, the hostages. Well, it, the it's just it's just the way things came out. It was really a bad decision the way it was done. Well, you have to give them four hundred million to let it go. That's the bottom line. You know, before there was no way the U.S. was going to give them back that money, but now all of a sudden they decided to give it back to them. It was the Shah Iran that gave it to them, not the, the Iranian present government. Wasn't the Shah? The Shah was already in America at that time, or France. He is the one that gave them that four hundred million dollars for equipment when the when the revolution came. The U.S. held it and didn't let them buy the equipment, and they kept the money. <clears throat> I got a teacher. Teacher, hey, what, what's what's going on around here, Mister Mister Teacher? Anyway, you gotta so uh, our number, folks. By the way, is six four six five nine five three two seven five. And if uh, oh, that's the other thing, another lie. Colin Powell told her to use a. Uh, that it's okay to use a uh, server at home. Except Colin Powell said he forgot to tell her that because he never said that to her. I don't know what you're talking about. Colin, she she used Colin Powell's excuse why she could have a server at home and said. Yeah, I remember. Email. So Colin Powell, and she said to, that Colin Powell, Powell said it was okay. But Colin Powell said, I never said it was okay to to do that. He said, I never told, told her she could have a server at home. Listen, we know she has a problem with uh, Lying. Tr truthfulness. So, uh... At least you know, Trump apologized for saying all those nasty things about oh, everybody. Oh, come on, yeah. He, he says, don't they understand sarcasm? Come on, give me a break. Everything when he tries to talk it back. No, he made he made an apology. He, he said made I, an apology. If I hurt anybody, yeah. If anybody, he knows damn well what he did. He said, "If I," he said, "I used some words that I probably shouldn't, and said some things I probably shouldn't." And all of a sudden, and I, did he? But he said it, and I apologize for it. Well, he didn't say apologize. Actually, you know, I regret saying those things. Is what he said. I regret saying those things. 
So Hillary just keeps lying over and over. Every time you ask her, she, she lies over another lie. And he does too. I don't know. Heard she said lying. she made a mistake. How many times does she have to say she made a mistake? She doesn't say she made a mistake. She keeps saying that she didn't do it. She says, "I may have made a mistake, but I did. I was I was truthful to the uh, to the FBI, and then I was truthful to the people. That's a lie. And that she still stands by that. Well, she was truthful to the FBI because if she wasn't truthful to the FBI, she would have been prosecuted." What I don't understand is she wasn't when the FBI interviewed her. She wasn't sworn in. There was not. There was, uh, there was no tapes of her conversation. There was no stenographer writing everything down. FBI agent just kept notes on the meeting. To me, that's a strange uh, hearing. That there is no record of the hearing. What do you think? I have no thoughts on the matter. Okay. So, let's see. What else can we discuss this week? Uh, oh, the Olympics. Uh, uh, well, well, the controversy over the swimmers, which was ridiculous. It really ruined the end of the. It really ruined the end of the Olympics. No, I think it ends this weekend, doesn't it? Well, you know, it's the, it's the ending, and it put a good bad, put a bad taste. In the Olympics. They acted like spoiled, privileged kids. That's what they acted Which like. they are. I mean, they, you know, people, kids like that who have enough time to train all day are being spoiled because everything's being paid for them so they can do this. You know, how else are they going to train 12 hours a day? I know. Whenever they train. Somebody's, you know, they, they need to have somebody feeding them. They want, they want to call it what they want, but somebody's, uh, somebody's taking care of them. It may not be the government, private donors. You know, I tell you, I think uh, personally, uh, I think Obama made a mistake this week by uh, not uh, jetting down to Louisiana and putting in an appearance. Yeah. You know, I think, uh, you know, a lot was said when, when Bush flew over Louisiana, you know, and during Katrina, and then uh, I think Trump. Well, Bush said, "You know, I don't see a plot of space where I can land the airplane, and I won't get my shoes dirty. So let's go back. We saw enough." Well, well, if you saw Trump today, he was offloading a truck. He was talking to the people in Louisiana, and he actually asked. Yeah, them, and 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 Obama did uh, the same thing during Sandy in New Jersey. So what? What played golf? No. He was also seen offloading a truck and helping out, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. You know. Uh, by the way, Hillary did her thing when she heard what about what the Trump did. She called the governor. She goes, I got to take the weekend off, but I'm sorry about what happened to you guys. By the way, did you ever see that? Did I ever show you that? Uh, I showed you that uh, video with uh, Hillary bobbing her head, didn't I? Now they're worried that she might do it during the uh, debates. They're going to give her a neck brace. If people don't know what I'm talking about, go anywhere on Facebook and uh, just type in Hillary bobbing her head and you'll get a good laugh. Um... Uh, we, we, we've been letting out so much steam in the last few minutes between me and Mark. We're, I think Mark ran out of things to say already. Well, you know, we welcome people to call up with their opinions. I know most people that call up, uh, a lot of them are anti-Trump and anti-Hillary both, you know. Uh, yeah. A couple of our uh, semi-frequent callers. Yeah. You know, um, well, we've got people who like uh, Johnson, 